This investment is over 100 million pounds, almost 50 million of it coming from the Green Investment Bank. When it's fully built out, it'll provide enough green energy for 14,500 homes, and it's the first major waste-to-energy plant infrastructure here in Northern Ireland. That's really important because we're diverting waste away from landfill and using it for cleaner, greener purposes. So behind me you can see the construction of the full circle generation energy from waste gasification plant. It's a significant piece of infrastructure processing up to 180,000 tonnes of Northern Irish waste every year. So a project such as this with full circle is a, is a good example uh, of this new style of project if you like. Uh, it uh, contracts with uh, a commercial counterparty for its waste. Um, it uses uh, gasification technology and it also provides renewable energy to a commercial counterparty in Bombardier who will be uh, utilising roughly a third of the power that this, this plant generates. The uh, project will benefit Bombardier twofold when it's up and running. Firstly it will provide Bombardier with a long-term competitive energy price and secondly it will benefit Bombardier by providing a better security of supply. The technology that we selected was gasification the major difference between gasification and incineration is that gasification doesn't involve the actual burning of waste. The waste is placed on a grate and is heated up to 900 degrees. The whole process takes place in the absence of oxygen uh, and as such the waste itself doesn't combust. Energy costs remain a barrier to industry uh, and particularly here in Northern Ireland. But Bombardier's Full Circle project not only gives the ability to create low-cost energy, but low-cost energy at source. The mix of risks uh, in this project, coupled with uh, a very uh, intense uh, conclusion to the project after a long development period, meant uh, there was a lot of stress put on the financing solution for, for the transaction. And towards the end of the process, it was, became quite clear that we needed to become the largest investor in the project in order for it to reach financial close. The Green Investment Bank uh, is one of the main reasons why we were able to achieve financial close on a project of this complexity. Uh, the bank was able to allocate resources right from the beginning and we were able to provide significant advice on everything from technology selection through to financial structuring. The Green Investment Bank has now made nine investments in Northern Ireland. That's everything from large waste to energy facilities like the one I'm standing in here today to smaller anaerobic digestion plants which are located in agricultural zones across Northern Ireland. When fully built out, this platform will, will produce enough CO2 emission reductions to offset 90% of the vehicles registered here in Northern Ireland. So we're making a big clean green impact on CO2 emissions here in the province. The Full Circle project will, I hope, give the future sustainability for an important and vital part of our local economy. Renewables in Northern Ireland are doing very well and our investments will help improve that. Today in Northern Ireland, renewable energy produces about 25% of the power across the province and the target is to get to 40% by 2020.